appear Republicans will hold their majority in the state house, but there's one notable exception, a seat that flipped blue right here in the Houston area. Republican Sarah Davis, a decade-long lawmaker, has conceded now to Democratic challenger Ann Johnson in the race to represent Texas District 134. One of the major parts of town included in that district is the Texas Medical Center, the largest medical complex in the world. Haley Hernandez is Houston's only TV health reporter. She's live tonight with a look at what this change could mean for the Med Center. Haley? Well, Chris, as you're pointing out, this is actually a pretty big flip for Texas, even though many Texans may not realize it. House District 134, as you're mentioning, it includes the Texas Medical Center. It also includes... Uh, River Oaks, West University, Bel Air, Upper Kirby, Uptown, Meyerland. So this is a very large district. And the big part of our region has had the same representative for 10 years. Today I spoke to the Democratic winner, Ann Johnson, about what she plans to keep the same here at the Med Center and the first thing she plans to change. Republican Sarah Davis ends her 10-year run as one of the state's budget writers for health care. She's credited for increasing funding for women's health, access to birth control, and postpartum care for low-income women, and as a cancer survivor herself, being a big advocate for cancer care. She conceded on social media saying, please join me in congratulating Ann Johnson for her victory last night. I wish her much success in the upcoming legislative session, and I'm thankful for my 10 years of service to HD 134. The district, which encompasses the Texas Medical Center, has been a blue-leaning area, but Davis was always upheld as an ally to hospitals, physicians, and Texas medical societies. So I asked Ann Johnson, what would she change? And while we have had advancements in some forms of programs around minimal efforts of Medicaid expansion that have covered some cost for women and children, for example, maybe two months after birth, it's absolutely illogical to suggest that that's adequate. But first on her agenda of things to do, expand Medicaid. I believe Medicaid expansion is an absolutely vital part of the strength of the medical center and medical community. And it's not just our medical center. It's thinking about the outreach of the hospital systems in rural parts of Texas. And I will also make mention that Johnson is also a cancer survivor herself. She says she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in her early 30s. So as far as that support goes, she says she does not plan on scaling back support there. Reporting from the Medical Center, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. Haley, thank you.